YouTube, I spilled my drink on me. Welcome into sorting Genshin Impact characters into Hogwarts houses. <laughs> Before we get into the video, did you know that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial and includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60 with absolutely no restrictions on playtime? Because I did and I love Final Fantasy. Which brings me to the sponsor of this video. With Final Fantasy XIV, you can adventure through two award-winning games for free. Play up to level 60 with absolutely no restrictions on game time whatsoever. And one of the biggest benefits, at least in my opinion with this MMO is that you can play all jobs on a single character. There's no need to create two, three, even four characters for different classes and try out different roles. Everything can be done under one character to save you a lot of time. The free trial even has 14 different jobs to pick from, including some fan favorites from throughout the Final Fantasy series history. Honestly, Final Fantasy 14 has one of the greatest stories that I've ever played through, all the way from A Realm Reborn to Shadowbringers and beyond. So if that's sounds like something you'd be into, please feel free to check it out using the link in the description below and in the pinned comment. Just a heads up here, chat and for the YouTube. This is how we're going to be sorting the Genshin characters, okay? There is four different Hogwarts houses, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Each of the houses have different values, which is how the characters are sorted into these houses. Gryffindor values bravery helping others, and chivalry. Hufflepuff values hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play. Ravenclaw values intelligence, knowledge, planning ahead, and wit. And Slytherin values ambition, which every character has, so we kind of have to push that one to the side. Cunningness, heritage, and resourcefulness. We are basically going to be doing it in a tier list style. This is the most up-to-date one that I could find, and we are going to be doing it just going through the characters here. So I think we, I think we best start from the bottom. Looking at Amber. If I'm the sorting hat and I get plonked onto Amber's head, she's the person that first greets us into into the game, pretty much. She does like helping others. I think it's between Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. If we look at the two, bravery, helping others, and chivalry, I think sounds a lot like Amber. Hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play. I mean, she kind of sounds like both. I think it could be either. I'm going to say Gryffindor, mainly of the helping others and the bravery, especially for the manga and stuff. I think she suits Gryffindor a lot better. She literally greets us in a monster and helps us out from the beginning. I think Gryffindor works, so we're gonna put Amber in Gryffindor for the first one. Oh god. The color scheme might s scream. This man's a Ravenclaw and he is very intelligent. He plans ahead a lot and he's full of knowledge and wit. He really is. He sounds like a Ravenclaw, but I think it would be ridiculous to not put him in Slytherin because he is cunning. Heritage is like one of his main things and he's very resourceful. I, I think Kaya just belongs in, in, in Slytherin, dude. He, he is a Slytherin through and through. Lisa is a tough one because we don't really know enough about her. I feel like Ravenclaw is just the easiest like cop out answer, which I mean, it's it probably is the most accurate, but like she only really fits intelligence. And as far as we know, that's pretty much it. Like knowledge and stuff, she hasn't even proven too much yet. It's accurate. I mean, so is hard work in Hufflepuff though. And so is so is helping others in Gryffindor. And, and so is cutting this in Slytherin. Like everything coming. She's into books. That's very surface level. Again, I'm trying to go not too surface level with this. I feel like Lisa would be Ravenclaw if she'd stayed in the academia, but she left. Honestly, I agree. I, I, I think Ravenclaw is a very surface level take. I genuinely feel like it's a very fucking surface level take. But I don't really... That, this is why it's, such, it's a difficult one, because I don't know what else I'd put her. I think I'll put her in Ravenclaw for now, because there's, there's just not many other areas that she really fits, in my opinion. I don't know. Lisa is a tough one. Barbara. Hufflepuff? What? Hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play? I could see that. I could see that, especially for the loyalty side of stuff and the and the hard work. I don't really know about the fair play and patience, but yeah, I could see that. She doesn't really fit in Gryffindor. Bravery, helping others, and chivalry. I don't know. I, I'd probably say Hufflepuff. Wow, we have one in each right now. Holy, dude. Okay. Razor Pro Max. Razor. I feel like Razor is like the most Gryffindor character. <laughs> He's brave, even though sometimes his bravery could probably be mistaken for like stupidity he loves helping others and he's pretty chivalrous dude he is loyalty also though for loyalty to the pack oh this is tough gryffindor or hufflepuff here hard work he does work hard patience 
I feel like everybody else is patient with him, but that also means he's patient as well, actually, because he takes his time around other people and not everybody understands him. I think Hufflepuff, actually, no, the more I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna say Hufflepuff. I think he's Hufflepuff. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say Hufflepuff. Zhang Ling. There's no shot she's in Gryffindor. I'm sorry. There's no, absolutely no shot she's in Gryffindor. Ravenclaw would make a lot of sense. She has a lot of knowledge. She plans ahead for hunting the food and stuff. She's pretty witty with Guava. Even Slytherin, honestly, but not the cunningness or the heritage. I, I think Ravenclaw. She's intelligent. She has a lot of knowledge about her, her craft, which is food. She plans ahead for the kills and she's pretty witty. I think she's Ravenclaw, genuinely. I'm gonna put Zhang Ling in Ravenclaw. Okay, Beidou. I mean, I think Beidou's just, uh, uh, she's already got the colors, right? I, I think she's just a Gryffindor. She's always brave. She helps others literally all the time. And chivalry, it, I mean, it's in, the, it's in the name. All right, that's an easy one, dude. That's an easy one. Sorting hat. Straight into Gryffindor. Wow, this is balanced so far. Okay, this is interesting. I didn't think it'd be this balanced. Sing Show. I can definitely see Ravenclaw here, but hear me out. I actually think Hufflepuff makes a bit more sense. Ravenclaw's traits are intelligence, knowledge, planning ahead, and wit. And out of those, I think he's intelligent and knowledgeable. But Hufflepuff is hard work, which in the Iridori Festival, dude, oh my god. Patience, which he has to be to do what he does, right? Fair play as well. I feel like this is kind of a tough one, honestly. Singsho, Singsho shares a lot of values between a lot of the different houses here. It's between Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff for me. He made a pen name to hide his identity, kind of cunning. I think that's looking too deep into it, right? I don't know. A pen name is just standard for a lot of writers. I'm more inclined to go with Ravenclaw here, I think. Yeah, I think it fits him a lot better. Uh, okay. Okay, next we have Ning Wang. Uh, oh, Jesus. Chat Slytherin? For Ning Wang? I was thinking Gryffindor, dude. Bravery, helping others, and chivalry. She sacrificed the fucking Jade Chamber twice? <laughs> she doesn't really help others unless she stands to gain. I guess she didn't really help her. I mean, she... Is that true? So I guess it's maybe slightly cunning. Is she upfront about it, though? Resourcefulness, definitely. No heritage at all, though. I don't think I've ever seen Ning Wang be cunning. We'll put her in Slytherin, I guess. I I'll go with the chat on this one. I personally would not put her in there, honestly. I'm curious what the YouTube comments think about this one. I'd personally put her in Gryffindor, or I'd put her in Ravenclaw. Intelligence, she's very smart. She's got spies everywhere. Knowledge, she knows everything. She's got fucking spies everywhere. Planning ahead, she literally does it all the time. Let me pull it. Let me pull this one. I'm interested. I would definitely say Ravenclaw. 53% Ravenclaw. This is a very close one. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this one. I do kind of agree with Ravenclaw though. It's it's a it's a it's a tough one to to rank her to be honest. This is way harder than I thought, dude. Way harder than I thought. Next we have Fischl. <laughs> this is this is really hard. Let me ask a question here, chat. Are we going with Fischl or Amy? I think we should go with Amy because it's the real her, right? It's it's her underneath the character. And I think if we go with Amy, she is a Ravenclaw. She's really fucking smart. It's definitely between Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. But then again, I feel like Fischl is as well. For both Amy and Fischl, I think I have to put them in Ravenclaw for one simple reason here. If we're basing this off the entire character, which by the way is also Oz, she literally manifested Oz, right, from the vision. So that that would also be the character. The wittiness between them two is phenomenal. The planning ahead was in general fantastic. She's played a whole character for the rest of her life, practically. If we were basing it on Hufflepuff, she's not patient in the fucking slightest. She, get pissed, she gets pissed off with us so much. She's a Ravenclaw through and through, in my opinion, at this point. Dude, there's a lot of Ravenclaws. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Bennett. <laughs> Listen, chat, Bennett is a Gryffindor through and through. This guy is literally Neville Longbottom. He is. I am not even kidding. Bro, in the first movie, Neville Longbottom in the broomstick flying class, it's like, the teacher's like, all you do is hold your hand out over the broom and say up. This motherfucker is like Neville. He holds his hand out, it goes up, and it smacks him in the face. It's literally him. It's the same person. You've never seen them together in a room. They're the same character, dude. He's a Gryffindor. It's Neville Longbottom. Th there's no questions asked here. I'm sorry. I, I can't see him as anything else. <laughs> It was Ron in the movie? Was it Neville in the book? I have to Google this real quick. I'm 99% I'm sure that's Neville, dude. What? Oh, yeah, Neville was sent flying, dude. Still, Neville has terrible luck. I'm sticking with it. Next character we have is... Noel, Hufflepuff through and through. Hard work, 100%. Patience. She's got the patient of a saint. She's still a fucking honorary knight at this point. <laughs> Loyalty, 100%. And fair play, I... I I feel like Noelle's a Hufflepuff for me. I can definitely see Gryffindor as well, but for me, I have to put her in Hufflepuff. Okay, next we have Chong Yoon. I think he'd be Ravenclaw. Maybe Hufflepuff? 
He's definitely not Gryffindor. He's patient to put up with Sing Shou's pranks. He's loyal to his friend. Hard work, sure. Hufflepuff, right? I think Hufflepuff. I think I think he fits in Hufflepuff more than uh, more than the other houses. Okay, we're noticing a trend here, and it's that Slytherin is very lonely, dude. Very lonely. Okay, Sucrose. Oh, this motherfucker's a Ravenclaw through and through. I'm sorry. There's no other choice here. There's no other choice in my opinion because Gryffindor is all about like bravery and 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 chivalry and stuff. She's the most shy person ever, but she's very smart, right? She's smarter than a lot of the other. She's a literal alchemist. Okay, Jean. Now, is this even a question of where I'm gonna put her? Um, and where she would be sorted. I'm curious here, chat. Ravenclaw for Jane? Bro, she, she... This motherfucker is a literal Gryffindor board post. She is she is literally poster girl for, for, for Gryffindor, I feel like. Jean, I sort you into Gryffindor as soon as I find you on the list. There you are. A Gryffindor, Pog. Deluc. Chat, this is actually really hard. A lot of you are saying Gryffindor. I actually think it's a mixture between Gryffindor and Slytherin. He hides his identity going out as the Dark Knight. Heritage? He has a lot of fucking heritage. And he's very resourceful with everything that he does. This is like a 50-50 between the two. He needs to be opposite of Kaya. But here's the beautiful thing. I don't think he is the opposite of Kaya in the slightest. I feel like they share a lot of the same traits and they embody them very differently. I think he might be a Slytherin. Oh no. I think you guys are right. I think he might be a Slytherin. My boy Daluk with his brother, he's a Slytherin. Oh God. <laughs> Chi Chi. Wait, th th this is the hardest one. A house elf. <laughs> Chi Chi is free. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, she's a house elf. Yeah, okay. Mona. Mona's just a Ravenclaw, right? I mean, she's very intelligent. She has a lot of knowledge. She plans ahead all the time because she can literally read fortunes. And she's really fucking witty, dude. I feel like Mona is to Ravenclaw what Jean is to Gryffindor. I feel like she just embodies Ravenclaw through and through. Am I right or wrong? I don't know. That's how I feel anyway. That's how I feel. You can feel free to disagree. I, I understand if you disagree, but uh, yeah. Okay, Keking. Keking's a Hufflepuff. Keking's a Hufflepuff. She's very very hard working, patience of a saint. She's loyal as hell to Liwa and also to Ning Lang. And very fair play. She, she's a Hufflepuff. That's an easy one, dude. That's an easy one. Keking, you're a Hufflepuff. Enjoy. Venti. I actually think chat's right. I actually think he'd be Slytherin. Venti is very cunning. Would you say Archons like inherently have heritage as well? Maybe. And he's extremely resourceful. Because don't forget, he's carrying on his friend's legacy completely. The resourcefulness of him writing uh bards and, and and poems and stuff to stand the test of time and, and also avoid erminsol even if that's not his intention it's still incredibly resourceful yeah i i feel like vent is a slytherin i didn't expect to put him in slytherin but but i think i think that does fit him the most i think he's a slytherin oh my god yo what a gang dude the slytherin gang this is kind of pog uh okay clee i know a lot of people are gonna say gryffindor here chat i just want to say you're wrong <laughs> hear me out. Okay, hear me out. Chat. Ravenclaw. Intelligence and knowledge, 100%. Planning ahead, dude. She's like waiting for the time to tick down in the room, planning her next fucking adventures, going fish blasting, and wit. It's Klee. I don't think she's brave or chivalrous. I think she's a child that doesn't know any better. She's reckless, not brave or chivalrous. I could see Slytherin, honestly, for the heritage being an elf resourcefulness and cunningness. Wait, I could see Slytherin. I mean, she's literally an elf. Make her a house elf. She is, but I feel like she could easily get sorted into a house as well. Okay, listen, no offense to Chi Chi, but she really don't have much going for her in terms of personality, right? Because she's dead and it's hard to kind of express things when you're dead. Can't really place her. I love Chi Chi, but you know, can't really place her into a Hogwarts house at that point. Diona. Ooh, this one's a weird one. House cat. <laughs> She's not playing fair. She literally works at a fucking bar and wants to, like, de-establish all of the alcohol production in Bodstead. <laughs> She's not playing by the rules of the book, you know? Could she be a Ravenclaw? Intelligence, knowledge, planning ahead, and wit? I feel like she could be. I'm really torn here between Ravenclaw and Slytherin. If we go for the ambition route, she's very ambitious. Like, even without the vision stuff. She's very cunning. Like, incredibly cunning. Is she resourceful? I feel like she... Listen, hear me out, chat. I feel like she's kind of the opposite of resourceful. Hufflepuff, but she's bad at it. 
<laughs> what would you guys put her in chat? Would you put her in Ravenclaw or Slytherin out of the two? I feel like she's Ravenclaw, but uses everything to the bad side. A lot of people say Slytherin. Really? You think Slytherin? I'll go with chat here and say Slytherin, I guess. We'll go Slytherin. Okay, this is going to be well so far. I feel like this is pretty good. All right, next, Tartalia. Wait, this is a question because this one's actually tough as fuck. Oh God, I thought this would be easy. I saw him and I was like Slytherin because of the, the cunningness, the heritage, and resourcefulness. But he has a lot of Gryffindor traits. He's brave. He helps others and he's chivalrous. He also has a lot of Hufflepuff traits. He's hardworking, very patient, loyal to his family to a T, but it's not fair play. He doesn't play fair a lot of the time, and that was shown in the Liwa Archon quest. Damn, this one's really tough. You know what I'm doing for this one? So I don't have to deal with it? I'm pulling him in every single one. Yeah, this is a really difficult one. This is actually a really difficult one. I don't know what I put him in. A lot of people say he's Slytherin. I can see it, honestly. I can. Zin Yan. Oh, chat. I feel like Zin Yan would be a Hufflepuff, like, practically through and through, especially considering how close to their friends they are and stuff. Pretty much every time we've seen her, she's been bringing up her friends and her friends have been bringing her up in, like, a mental positivity kind of way. She's very hardworking. Very loyal to a T. It's either Hufflepuff or Gryffindor, but I, I could see her more as a Hufflepuff personally than a Gryffindor. Zhongli! I already know where I'm putting this motherfucker. I'm curious to see what you guys think, but I already know where he's going. Seeing a lot of Ravenclaws, and you know what? Ravenclaw is my second pick. I think Slytherin makes the most sense. This motherfucker's got contracts that he ain't telling nobody about. Heritage, 100 fuckers. This motherfucker's Rex Lapis. And resourcefulness, dude. He uses these contracts to gain leverage in every single situation possible. He knows that the Gnosis is gonna go at some point, which would make sense for Slytherin and Ravenclaw. The Guizhong stuff, also the, the contract to end all contracts, and the fact that he wants to retire and stuff as well. I think I gotta put him in Slytherin, but Ravenclaw makes perfect sense as well. I think I have to put him in Slytherin. Now we have Albedo. Okay, let me make this clear. We're gonna base this on actual Albedo, not sus Bedo. I think I gotta put him in Ravenclaw. He's very intelligent. He has a lot of knowledge about Kemia and stuff, although he's pretty fucking bad at planning ahead. <laughs> He is very creative. Now, another thing that I was going to say, though, is for Slytherin, he's not really cunning, but he has a lot of heritage. He is literally the embodiment of heritage, if you think about it. It was created for a purpose, and he's extremely resourceful. But I think overall, I have to put him in Ravenclaw. I think he makes the most sense to go in Ravenclaw for me. I ain't gonna cap, dude. I'm not gonna lie here. I might sound like I'm getting annoyed at certain points. I'm not. I'm actually getting kind of passionate. And the reason is, I think this is one of the most fun interesting ways to do like a tier list that i've ever thought of i'm not even kidding i'm dead serious when i say literally any of these characters can go in any house and it's so interesting to see other people's takes as well this it's like the embodiment of opinion right this is fantastic i'm actually having so much fun here this is so fucking good ganyu ganyu's a hufflepuff dude Ganyu's a Hufflepuff. Hard work. She actually works way too hard, in my opinion. She's very loyal and fair play, but she values herself working so hard, dude, that that Hufflepuff just makes so much sense, right? All right, Ganyu and Hufflepuff. Pog. Uh, next, we have Zhao. Slytherin, I think you're just looking at the character design if you say Slytherin. I actually think Zhao belongs in Gryffindor. Zhao is brave. He's helping others by getting rid of the curse and stuff. And obviously the whole Yaksha lore, dude. I feel like he's Gryffindor through and through. Other than Jean, like one of the most Gryffindor of Gryffindors. Anyway, next character. Hu Tao. You one of the most Slytherin motherfuckers I ever seen, dude. Wait. This could go one of two ways. I actually think I'm going to put her in Ravenclaw. Let me explain this chat. Hold on. So for Slytherin, she's very cunning. Her whole character is cunning. Heritage, maybe the funeral parlor stuff, but not too much. Resourcefulness, she is very resourceful. Ravenclaw, she is intelligent. She's knowledgeable about her job endlessly. She really fucking loves planning ahead, if you know what I mean. Hello, uh... Hello, uh, are you planning on dying anytime soon so I can sell you a fucking coffin? And she's witty without realizing it. Also, I feel like the trait she would value the most in the job and stuff would be planning ahead. I think this is really hard because I could literally see her in either. I'm gonna pull this one, chat. You guys can decide. Looks like Slytherin's winning, so we'll put her in Slytherin. My choice would have been Ravenclaw, but I respect the chat choice here because it is a hard choice. We'll put her in Slytherin here. You two comments. If you've watched this far, I'm interested to know where you would place, like, pretty much each in individual character. If you have the time and you would like to, I would love for you to rank the characters in, in an order in the comments, and I will read through them, but it is your choice. Rosaria. Is it bad that I think she's a Slytherin because her heritage is to the church, but she's cunning because she kind of does everything opposite to that and goes out like day drinking with Kaya, and she's very resourceful with it? I think she's a Slytherin. 
I'm not gonna cap here. She she probably could have a bit of Gryffindor. She's hardworking and loyal to the church. Is she loyal to the church? She's loyal to Varka, in fact. True. That is true. She does their dirty work. Yeah, she hates the church. Yeah, she's loyal to Monster and Varka for sure. What would Rosaria value the most about her as a, herself as a person, Chet? Resourcefulness? Loyalty to Mond? This is a really difficult one for me. I'm going to be totally honest as well, Chat. One of the biggest reasons why this is one of the hardest ones for me is because the game hasn't really given us too much about Rosaria, in my opinion. You'd go Gryffindor for her? I honestly hear... I think you might be right. She's very brave. She's very chivalrous. And she does kind of like helping others because she doesn't want to help herself much anymore. I feel like she doesn't have much ambition at all. She's very cunning. She has no heritage, like people said, unless you class like the Varka stuff. And resourcefulness, not too much. I might have to overwrite chat decision here. I think I have to say Gryffindor. I think I have to go Gryffindor because I think she values other people more than herself. I don't think she cares about herself too much. If we totally take away the aesthetic of the character, I don't think she's Slytherin. I just think Gryffindor. Next Next is Yan Fei. It's Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff here for me because she is hardworking, patient, loyal, and a fair player because, you know, the law. But Ravenclaw does make a lot of sense as well for intelligence, knowledge, planning ahead, and wit. Hear me out, chat. If Yan Fei had to tell you what trait of herself she values the most... I think she'd say fair play because of the law stuff, the legal advisor stuff. So I think she'd be a Hufflepuff. I could definitely see the others as well. But again, when I start struggling between two houses, I'm trying to think what the character would value most in themselves. And it actually helps quite a bit. Eula. Ooh, this is hard. I don't think she's a Slytherin because she's not cunning. She's kind of resourceful. I wouldn't say it's a trait that she'd value much. Heritage is the only thing and she hates her heritage. I don't think she's Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play. I could see that. Gryffindor, bravery, helping others, and chivalry. Where's vengeance on this list? Gryffindor would be vengeance, right? Harry got the scar on his head and he was like, I'm gonna get vengeance. And it took him like a full fucking season of like 13 fucking books and seven movies or whatever it was to actually enact vengeance. I think Eula does value loyalty a lot, but to Mondstadt as a whole for like taking her in. I'm gonna put her in Gryffindor. I think she makes sense for Gryffindor. Damn, dude, this is really balanced. Oh my God. Okay, Kadahara Kazuha. Oh shit. It's between Gryffindor and Hufflepuff because he's very brave. He loves helping others and tried to help his friend and he's chivalrous, but he's also very hardworking, very patient, very patient, almost too patient, in fact. God damn, are you high? And he's very loyal and fair play as well. Oh, I, I think I'd put him in Gryffindor. Yeah, I think I'd put him in Gryffindor, but instead I'm going to put him in House Elf just to piss the fuck off of Bob, dude. Bob's going to be so annoyed. There we go. He's House Elf. Kidding. He's Gryffindor. Dude, this list is literally perfectly balanced. I've never seen this. This is insane. We're about to get into some tough ones, I'm afraid. Ayaka. A lot of people are saying Hufflepuff here. Check. can I ask you a question and let me know what you think about this? Because I do agree, but I, I'm curious about this one. What trait do you think Ayaka values the most? Because I ain't gonna cap. I think it's heritage. So I think if it was the, the sorting hat doing this, I think it'd say she should be in fucking Slytherin. She's cunning in a fun way. And she is resourceful and she does have a lot of ambition. But she's cunning in more of a Hu Tao kind of cunning way. I think all in all, Hufflepuff probably makes the most sense. But I do think Slytherin is a very close contender. In fact, you know what? We can do a 50-50 here. Ayaka, I'm going to put her in Hufflepuff. And I'm going to put Ayato in Slytherin. I think Ayato is a Slytherin through and through, chat. Cunningness, heritage, and resourcefulness, that is Ayato. I still think it would make sense for Ayaka to be in Slytherin as well, but it would also make sense for her to be in Ravenclaw and Gryffindor as well. But, 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 but yeah. I think Hufflepuff does make a lot of sense. I'm going to separate them, yeah, and I think they'd both be okay with that. Sayu's a house elf. Sayu's literally a house elf, dude. Listen, bravery, helping others, and chivalry. She fucking can't be bothered to do anything half the time, but when she can, sure, maybe she's she's not brave, though. She gets scared all the time. Hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play. She's a spy. It's not really fair play. Intelligence, knowledgeable, planning ahead, and wit. Honestly, kind of. I think if I had to put her in house, I'd probably put her in Ravenclaw. She's definitely not a Slytherin. I'm going to put her in house elf. I feel like she'd sleep the fucking day away, dude. She's a house elf. She's a house elf with 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 Chi Chi. But yeah, I can definitely see Ravenclaw as well. Ravenclaw makes a lot of sense, but I, I think house elf. Next, we have Yoi Mia. She screams Hufflepuff energy, right? You guys think Griff? I can see Gryffindor. I think she screams Hufflepuff energy to me because she does work hella hard. She's very patient with the kids, especially. She's very loyal to the tradition and everything and also to the kids and fair play obviously. I can also see Gryffindor like 100% though. And she is very patient with her dad as well. Also, the whole player base is very fucking patient with her because she talks so goddamn much. I'm gonna put her in Hufflepuff. I can definitely see Gryffindor as well though, chat. Next, we have Aloy. 
She's in a whole different fucking realm of existence, dude. She's in Middle Earth with the rest of the fucking uh, cast that doesn't actually belong in Genshin. I can't rank her, chat. I can't rank her. I can't rank her because I don't know enough about I've played the whole first game and I still couldn't rank her. Muggle? <laughs> That's so bad, but fair. Kujo Sora, Slytherin, ain't no shot she'd be a Slytherin. As much as I hate to say this, because I kind of want to put her in Gryffindor, I think she's a Hufflepuff through and through. She's a massively hard worker. She's so not patient though, but she's the most loyal character ever being the Raiden simp. And fair play, she upheld, she upholds the lore and stuff, you know? Yeah, weirdly, she's not a Ravenclaw in the slightest. We're getting a lot of Hufflepuffs now. Holy, dude. Okay, this is getting kind of spooky. Oh, next we have the Raiden Shogun. Chat, don't say Slytherin just because she's a quote-unquote bad guy. Are we talking A or Raiden Shogun? Good question. Let's go with A. I think she'd be a Ravenclaw if we're talking about A. Isn't A a bit too airheaded to be a Ravenclaw? Yeah, no, I think you might be right. She planned ahead, but the plan was bad. I feel like if she'd have thought it through a bit better, she could have come up with something better. I think she thinks with her heart before her head. I actually think that's a very Gryffindor thing to do. What would A value in herself? I think she would value heritage or helping others. She wanted to help her people, but she was so bad at it. I mean, yeah, we don't do it based on the fact that she was bad at it. We do it based on what she wanted. She wanted to help others, right? She thought she was brave in doing so. This is what I'm talking about, chat. She's kind of like the fucked up Gryffindor, you know? The kind of bad Gryffindor quote-unquote evil Gryffindor. Just like every Slytherin isn't an evil motherfucker, every Gryffindor isn't a good motherfucker, you know? I'll do Gryffindor, but I can see all of them. I can I can actually see all of them, but I think the Gryffindor does make a lot of sense. Next, we have Sangonomi Kokomi. She's a Ravenclaw, dude. She could very easily be a Hufflepuff as well for the hard work and, and patience and, well, she's not that patient, but loyalty and fair play and stuff, but I think Ravenclaw makes sense for literally everything. She's witty without realizing the fact that she keeps a fucking energy diary, dude is so adorable and so witty without her even knowing and it's so cute that she's oblivious to it the planning ahead she literally makes war and plans ahead for wars and knowledge and intelligence yeah i i think ravenclaw energy through and through right i think ravenclaw energy through and through okay toma i already know where i'm putting toma he's a house elf i'm kidding he's a hufflepuff through and through he could very easily be a gryffindor as well but i feel like the reason that he helped us so much in the all conquest and stuff is because he was loyal to us and he's not exactly, he wasn't loyal to the Shogun, right? And that's more Hufflepuff than Gryffindor to me. He literally got his vision because of his loyalty, dude. That's kind of pog. Okay, Goro time. Chat, is he a Gryffindor? Is he? Bravery? I mean, in the face of battle, he's brave. But have you seen him as soon as the fucking pink-haired fox lady comes up to him, dude? He loses his shit and pisses his pants. We all have our fears. His is Miko. True, Zinyan's his frogs and Goro's is Miko. He did try to face his fears. You're not wrong, actually. He did. I could see him in Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Gryffindor. He did try to face his fears, and that is kind of brave. Actually, yeah, no. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, let's put him in Gryffindor, dude. Let, let, let's put let's put him in Gryffindor. You're actually right. Yeah, that's how he'd see himself, I'm sure. Okay, Ito. House elf. Fuck off, chat. No fucking shot you put in Ito with Dobby. He's not intelligent. <laughs> he's not intelligent, but he's so witty, dude. But he also wouldn't value the wit he has, because I don't think he realizes he's fucking stupid oh jesus dude he's the hardest character to fucking rank patience none fair play definitely not too stupidly brave to not be gryffindor i kind of agree i don't think he's hufflepuff he's loyal to the gang sure but he's not patient in the slightest he's not really a hard worker and he doesn't play fair i think he's a gryffindor i never thought i'd say that yeah he does give ron energy right stupidly brave i, th I think gryffindor makes the most sense I do think he's a griff. Oh, next we have Yoon Jin. Yeah, I, I actually think Ravenclaw too for the, again, this this matches the point previously for the creativity side. It's a different type of intelligence. It's creative intelligence rather than like street smart intelligence. I think she I think she fits the Ravenclaw vibe very much. If Yoon Jin got smashed by the J Chamber and died and then ended up the next day as a ghost in Hu Tao's funeral parlor in the bathroom, I I could see Modern Myrtle energy, you know? And she was Ravenclaw. I could see Morning Myrtle. Morning Myrtle cries a lot. Yoonjin would, would sing the opera in the bathroom so that everybody could shit in peace and enjoy the shit. If I heard opera singing every time I went to take a dump, I'd be happy. She is, uh, she's very Ravenclaw. Yoonjin's fantastic, dude. Holy shit. Shenha. Oh, I already know where I'm putting Shenha. Like, easily, dude. Wait, who the fuck says Slytherin? <laughs> 
Bro, she Gryffindor through and through. Bravery helping others, chivalry. She's Gryffindor. She is, she is Gryffindor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not be taking any questions about this. Yaimiko is a Slytherin through and through. I don't care what anybody says. She is one of the most resourceful people I have ever seen. She's cunning to a T. Along with Ayato, they are literally Jesse and James from Pokemon. They plan events together and, 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 and fuck around with people. And the heritage of... Uh, uh, listen, Yaimiko is literally Slytherin embodiment more than any other character on this entire list, even more than Kaya. She is number one. She is the Arataki Numero Ito of Slytherin, dude. Oh, and they're even next to each other here. Look at that. Oh my god. Jesse, James, Yalan. Wait, y'all think Slytherin? Really? Y'all think Slytherin more than Ravenclaw? Ravenclaw is intelligence, knowledge, planning ahead, and wit. Slytherin is cunningness, heritage, and resourcefulness. I think Ravenclaw, dude. I can definitely see both. I can also see Gryffindor in this, bravery, helping others, and chivalry, and I can also see Hufflepuff. What would she value in herself? I think she'd value her planning ahead, dude. I think she is more of a really smart thinker and methodist. But then do you class that as resourcefulness or planning ahead? I think in her line of work, it'd be planning ahead. I'm gonna put her in Ravenclaw, but I can easily see Slytherin as well. Does that make sense, chat? Does that make sense? Kuki Shinobu. Kuki, my darling, the most Hufflepuff person I've met. A lot of people say in Ravenclaw here, I have to disagree because of the loyalty to the Arataki clan. Also, the amount of patience this motherfucker has to work alongside Ito, dude. I think she's Hufflepuff through and through. Patience is key, and I honestly think she would value her patience more than a lot of other stuff. I'm not even kidding. She, she, she's going straight into Hufflepuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> She's going straight in there. She could win Hazo. He's a Ravenclaw. You think Slithering? I don't think he's cunning. I think Ravenclaw because intelligence, knowledge, planning ahead and wit. He literally ticks every single one of those boxes. Now, would he look good in those blue colors? Probably not. But does he embody all of those? Yes. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Now we have Kole. Listen, chat. I expected a lot of people to say Hufflepuff here and I can totally see it. But I'm not gonna lie here. She gives me hella Gryffindor vibes, dude. Her character is definitely still developing. She gives she gives me mad Gryffindor vibes. I think she just screams Gryffindor energy so much. She's incredibly brave to go through everything she's been through. She has helped others, even if uh, it was at her own expense in the manga. And since then as well, she helped us when we got to Sumeru, even though she was literally dying. I can understand Hufflepuff for Gryffindor. I have to put her in Gryffindor myself, honestly. I think it makes the most sense for me. Tignari. He's not a Hufflepuff because he's not patient in the slightest. He'd be a Ravenclaw through and through. Or Slytherin because of the resourcefulness. But I think Ravenclaw because he's sassy as fuck for the wit. He does love to plan ahead and he's very smart and keeps... Yeah. Yeah, I think he's Ravenclaw. Can we agree on that one, chat? Ravenclaw, yeah? Next, we have Dory. Okay, listen, Dory's a Slytherin through and through as well. I'm sorry, she just is. A lot of people might say Ravenclaw for the wit and intelligence, and I could honestly see it, but she is more cunning than witty, and she is resourceful as fuck. Dory Slytherin in my books. Next, we have Candice. I think Candace is a Gryffindor. We haven't seen enough of Candace to, to say Hufflepuff in my opinion just yet, but she's very brave. She loves helping others. She's literally a protector and chivalry. I think she's a Gryffindor. I gotta put her in Gryffindor here. Yeah. Next character is Sino. I really do just see him as a Hufflepuff. He gives you Ravenclaw vibes. Intelligence, knowledge, planning ahead and wit. I can... S well... Actually, you know what? I can see it. He is incredibly witty. Tainari once told me not to tell jokes at the dinner table insisting that my jokes weren't funny at all. I did not share his opinion, so I told three of my best jokes in a row and explained the premise of each in great detail. <laughs> By the time I was done talking, my food was cold. <laughs> even, even his heavy hit taken's funny. <laughs> a tough crowd. He's a raven glow. Listen, okay, chat. Hear me out here, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, yeah, 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 Listen, because I, I do have to be honest here, I do have to be honest here. I can, <laughs> listen, I can 100% also see Hufflepuff here and Gryffindor, but I feel like Sino genuinely values his wit really fucking high and also planning ahead. I, I actually do think Ravenclaw fits. I went into this thinking Hufflepuff, but I, I, I actually do think Ravenclaw works better. Sino is a muggle. What is wrong with you? Ain't no shot you just said that. Bad hand. Be strong. We can do this. Don't let your inner Slytherin win. I'm kidding. I would never ban you for your opinion. Every opinion is valid, even if it is wrong. Next, <laughs> Nilu. I feel like Nilu's a muggle. I'm kidding. 
Uh, wait, you all think Hufflepuff? Really? Wait, I have a totally different opinion for this. I actually think Gryffindor, for the bravery and the helping others in the in the story quest, I actually think Gryffindor, like, hella. I think her story quest was all about helping others and bravery. I 100% see Gryffindor here. I can see all of the others apart from Slytherin. Okay, next we have Nahida. I already know where I'm putting Nahida. Nothing can possibly change my mind here, but I'm curious about what chat thinks. I'm seeing some spicy takes here. She's a Ravenclaw for me through and through. She's very intelligent, even if she doesn't give herself the credit of it. She is literally the keeper of fucking so much knowledge. Like, she is the controller of a lot of knowledge with the, er the knowledge with the Erminsel as well. Planning ahead? She did that all the damn time. And I mean all the damn time. She planned, like, so far ahead. Do you remember the twist at the end of the Archon Quest where she was like, this is actually the 168th time we've done this fight? Yeah, good job, Traveler. It's all my dude. Dude, she's so smart about that stuff. And the wit, dude? She might be the wittiest person in the game. With the anxiety duke dukes and everything else, and the, 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 the fucking leopard eating the animal and then getting diarrhea and stuff, she doesn't even realize it. She's the, the cutest little fucking dendro cabbage mini person. She's so funny. The epitome of Ravenclaw energy. Okay, Layla. Again, to be honest, these last two are going to be kind of hard. I'm going to keep it a buck here, chat. Don't really know enough about her to be able to get a solid ranking on her. I am going to say Hufflepuff instead of Ravenclaw, just because I feel like for Ravenclaw, uh, the whole planning ahead and wit kind of thing, uh, this motherfucker just doesn't sleep. I I'm going to put her in Hufflepuff, but I don't think we know enough to be able to fully rank her yet. We just don't know enough. Uh, okay, next we have Faruzan. Okay, hear me up. Before anybody just instantly says Ravenclaw, clearly she's really fucking shit at planning ahead if she got trapped for hundreds of years. She's not a Ravenclaw. I don't care what anyone says. We just don't know much about her. Yeah, we really don't. Y'all think she could be a Gryffindor, maybe? I, I, I actually don't know what the rank her. Maybe she could be a house elf and just teach everybody. She gets her own category as professor. Nah, because even the professors were in houses at a certain point, right? I think. I just feel like we don't know enough information to actually rank her yet. I'm not even kidding. You know what? You're right. She does value knowledge a lot. I'm being kind of hard on her by saying she doesn't belong in Ravenclaw because she clearly didn't plan ahead enough, which is true, by the way. She did not plan ahead well enough. Otherwise, she would not have been stuck there for so fucking long, 100 years. But yeah, Ravenclaw does make the most sense. It does, from what we know, at the very least. Okay, Wanderer. You're saying Slytherin, and I think you're saying it because he's just quote-unquote bad guy. But also, maybe not. He is a little cunning. Heritage makes sense. Resourcefulness? I mean, kinda? Since he used Ermin's, but he, he failed at that. So I don't... Mm, this one's tough for me. I'm gonna let chat decide because to be completely honest here, I don't think he fits any of these houses. I feel like he's the Voldemort. I'm not even kidding. I, I, wait, I might actually make make another category for Voldemort. I actually feel like he's the, he's the Voldemort. Slightly human towards the end when you start understanding the character more, but just a motherfucker the rest of the way through. If I had to put him in a house, I think Slytherin makes the most sense. But honestly, I, I'm very torn between just making him fucking he who must not be named. <laughs> Genuinely. Yow yow. I know where I'm putting yow yow. She's a Gryffindor, dude. She's brave. She loves helping others. And she'll always, like, she, she literally helped. I was going to call him Marco then, dude. Dvorak instantly without even knowing who he was. She, she's fucking the epitome of Gryffindor. I'll hide him's Ravenclaw. Easy Ravenclaw. I can kind of see Slytherin, not just the fact that he's green, but the cunningness and resourcefulness. But Ravenclaw, dude, he plans ahead so well and knowledge and intelligence, and he's so creative with everything. I think it just makes too much sense for Ravenclaw. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in Ravenclaw for me personally. Okay, we have a couple of characters here that, that uh uh obviously not that we have another Kazuha, which is uh this Kazuha is a muggle, okay? Mika? Dude, this might sound awful. <laughs> I feel like he gives muggle energy. <laughs> I feel like he does. And that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but I feel like he does. I'm not going to rank him in, in Muggle because he does resemble a lot of the other uh, elements of the other houses as well. But I could easily see him being a Muggle. I think he's very easily worried, but he's brave about overcoming the fears that he has. But I also think Ravenclaw makes so much sense because for the job that he does chat, which is the map maker and planner, you have to plan ahead. You have to have the knowledge and intelligence. He's a complete and utter nerd. And he's witty as fuck without even realizing it. Like, the reason he's witty is because everybody, like, like he's so awkward. It's like a cute kind of wit. Kind of like Sucrose. Su exact same as Sucrose. Yeah, I actually think he's, like, identical to Sucrose, value and trait-wise. 
other than the actual job they have, personally. Then we have Dea. I see a lot of people saying Hufflepuff here. I can understand why, but I think what you actually mean is Gryffindor. <laughs> And I'm not kidding. I, I think you mean Hufflepuff for the loyalty and stuff, but the Gryffindor being bravery, helping others in chivalry is all three of those. And she helps others because she is loyal to them, but, but she helps them in so many different ways. She helps with the bodyguard stuff. She helps by making monetary donations to help kids. I feel like she's 100% Gryffindor. Then we have the Travelers. Hear me out here, chat. I understand the, the the house elf take of like wanting to put the traveler in house elf because all we do is run errands. But you got to look at it from the deeper point of view. We are on a journey here to find our other sibling, whichever traveler you choose. I'm actually going to do this on the non-canonic thing, which is Ether as the MC and Lumine as the Abyss sibling. Okay, two different characters. I think the 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 main twin that you use, Ether in my case, would actually be a Gryffindor because yes, all we do is run errands, but that means we clearly help people like Gryffindors. We're very fucking brave. We've literally taken on Archons and, and Harbingers, dude. And we are chivalrous as fuck at this point. We're a Gryffindor. Abyss twin? I know a lot of people are going to say Slytherin makes sense. I actually disagree. And this is going to be probably the most hot topic of this list because we honestly don't know enough. But here's the thing. They know a lot more than we do. So I think Ravenclaw because I think they're intelligent and knowledgeable of what's going to happen. And I think they're already planning ahead. Because whenever we've met them in the past, they talk about there's always still time and there's, there's always this and that. And like, they know what's going to happen. They've already traversed this whole world before us. We don't know if she's cunning or resourceful or heritage, we have no idea. So we, I can't say Slytherin. Hufflepuff, hard work, no idea. Patience, no clue. Loyalty, clearly fucking not. Fair play, no. Gryffindor, bravery, no clue. Helping others, yes. The bad guys, quote unquote. And chivalry, no idea. I think Ravenclaw's the only one that makes sense to me here, honestly. Okay, Paimon is not on this list, but we should rank Paimon as well. I would put her in Slytherin. She's very cunning. I feel like she's one of the, one of the more cunning characters. The heritage, then again, we don't really know about the heritage yet. It's all theory and speculation at this point. Maybe not. I actually don't know where else I'd put her, though. Okay, listen, I'm going to say House Elf because genuinely she's not patient in the slightest. And she doesn't work hard. Yeah, okay, yeah. We'll say, we'll say House Elf for Paimon and then Dainsleaf? I think I'd have to say Ravenclaw for Dainsleaf chat simply for the fact that he's clearly very knowledgeable about what's going on and intelligent. He's not that witty, but he's planning ahead more than anybody else in this entire video game. We see the Teva chapter storyline preview. He's telling us everything that, that we can reweave the, th the threads of fate, telling us what we need to do to like break the cycle. He knows what's going to happen somehow. Dainsleaf in Ravenclaw and Paimon in Hufflepuff or House Elf. Paimon in her own tier of just fucking can't rank because she's too many different things and not enough things all at once. Damn, that was good, dude. What do we think about that? Did you enjoy that, chat? Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, 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 I enjoyed it. I think it's bug, dude. That was one of the more fun tier lists. We should do this more often for, like, fun tier list ideas, chat. Where there's no, like, right or wrong answer. Like, Genshin characters as cars. <laughs> Ning Wang would be, like, a Lambo, you know? Bennett would be, like, one of those cars that fall apart after three seconds, like a Ford. We could come with some fun ideas, dude. Thank you for hanging out for that one, chat.